वेलकम डियर स्टूडेंट इन माई नेक्स्ट वीडियो फॉर द प्रैक्टिकल ओके सो टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी अबाउट द आइसोलेशन ऑफ डी एन ए फ्रॉम द बनाना फ्रूट फॉर दिस रिक्वायरमेंट आर देर यू नीड अ सिंगल बनाना ओके देन यू नीड अ वॉटर दिस वॉटर मे बी अ डिस्टिल वॉटर और यू कैन टेक इट फ्रॉम द फिल्टर नो प्रॉब्लम नेक्स्ट यू नीड अ सॉल्ट एज वेल एज यू नीड अ लिक्विड सोप और एनी डिटर्जेंट यू कैन टेक यू नीड अ वॉट एर द आई पी ए अल्कोहोल विच इज अ चिल्ड अल्कोहोल आई दर यू कैन टेक अल्कोहोल और यू कैन टेक द सैनिटाइजर ऑल्सो नाउ वट इज सैनिटाइजर आर अवेलेबल एवरीवेर ओके सो दिस ऑल रिक्वायर्ड थिंग्स आर देर विच आर प्रेजेंट एट होम यू कैन डू द प्रैक्टिकल एट होम एज वेल एज यू नीड अ प्लास्टिक बैग विच इज अ जीप लॉक ओके इंस्टेड ऑफ दैट यू कैन यूज एनी कप ऑल्सो एनी बाउल ऑल्सो यू नीड द बाउल जस्ट फॉर द स्टरिंग द ऑल वॉट एर द मिक्सर you need a cup so here the cup is required just for the measuring approximately measurement then you require uh this the filter about the the coffee filter okay then you need a teaspoons for the measuring of the soap as well as the salt etc now these are the requirements are there here for the doing the practical for getting that dna at the top of this you need require the test tube okay suppose the test tube is not there you can use the watch glass also that at the end i will show now here we'll start this first you have to take the banana so here the size of the banana is bigger one so i will take the half of the banana this you have to remove its skin so till you have to remove this banana i will take it in this plastic zip lock bag in this you have to add the half cup of water take half cup of water this you have to add in this plastic zip lock bag and you have to make the banana mesh so this one is added here now just remove the air from inside now simply you have to crush this with the help of the your hand okay you can press it on the floor also no problem and with the help of this you can make the banana mash okay so here this banana mash is there of which only 2 teaspoons you have to take okay so just crush it properly so that all cells will get separate now this is taken half cup of water and the half banana depend on the size of the banana suppose the banana is of the small size you can take the whole single banana so now here the banana mash is a ready our second step is that this will keep aside our second step is that we have to take the 1 teaspoon of the liquid soap and the half teaspoon of the salt so we'll take this in the bowl first i'll take the 1/4 teaspoon of the salt 1/4 teaspoon not half 1/4 teaspoon of the salt is taken then take the 1 teaspoon of the liquid soap so this 1 teaspoon of the liquid soap then we'll add 2 teaspoon of the distilled water any tap water you can take it now this you have to stir it gently 
so that all whatever the liquid soap as well as the salt will get dissolved in the water so if you required water little water you can add no problem otherwise you can just simply mix up now the salt and the liquid soup is dissolved in the water so this is a mixture is ready in this mixture we'll just simply add 2 spoon of the 2 teaspoon of the banana mix from here so i'll take the 2 teaspoon of the banana mesh okay take it little bit more no problem approximate measurement you have to take now this mixture will stir it for the approximately 10 minutes so that whatever the soap detergent is there salt as well as the water it will enter inside the cell so the function of this detergent is there which break down the wall of the cell or which break down the cell membrane as a result the nucleus comes out so you know that the dna which is a present in the chromosome or we can say the chromosome is a made up of the dna and the chromosome present inside the nucleus nucleus present inside the cell and the number of the cells are there which together form this banana so you have to take out the that nucleus first from the cell and then from the nucleus the nuclear membrane also will get break down and the chromosomes the dna which will come out next here after 10 to 15 minutes the next step is there we just have to filter this mixture so this will keep it for the approximately for the 10 minutes 10 to 15 minutes now after 10 minutes we'll just filter this for this you require the bowl you require a coffee filter okay now we'll drop this in the this coffee filter now slowly just filter this so what are the filtrate is there this filtrate will use for the next procedure so in this filtrate we got the number of the dna okay now next step is that we have to take the chilled alcohol isopropyl alcohol if alcohol is not available you can take the sanitizer but it should be a in the chilled form okay so first we'll take this alcohol which is a chilled one in the test tube approximately One fourth of the test tube. Okay. Now, what we have to do? You have to take the this filtrate, and this filtrate will drop 
inside from the wall of that test tube so we'll take it to the dropper and with the help of the dropper slowly we'll release this on the side So we'll add approximately equal quantity of this mixture in this alcohol. This whatever the alcohol you are taking, it should be a chilled one. Okay, so that care you have to take. Reason behind this we'll discuss at the end. So here I have added this, the mixture of the banana mesh, liquid soap and the salt and the distilled water. This will keep it for the 5 to 6 minutes and after the 5 to 6 minutes we will see the result. If you don't have the test tube you can use the Watch glass also, watch glass is there in your dissection box. In this, we'll take same. First, we'll take the chilled alcohol in the watch glass. Okay, so half filled of this in the watch glass. And then, we'll take the this mixture of banana mesh, liquid soap, salt, distilled water and just slowly release it. Approximately equal quantity of this you can add. So this one also you can do and you can keep it undisturbed for the 5 to 6 minutes then you'll get the result yes now here we got the result you can see the at the top all the DNA which is in the fiber like format is present you can see with the help of the forceps I will try to take out with the help of the forceps Okay, so here this way you can just check it how the fiber like structure is present at the tip of the forceps. Okay, I will try to pull out. So, here you can see this the DNA. Here also you can see the clearly the DNA or DNA it is in the fiber form which is a precipitated at the tip of this test tube okay now here the reason behind uh, for taking this the detergent the detergent is there which causes the cell membrane to break down by dissolving the lipids and the proteins of the cell next to that why what is the use of the salt so why salt is used in this salt shields the negative phosphate ends of the dna which allows the dna to precipitate so that's why here we got the all the dna at the top so our DNAs are precipitated here. Next is a chilled condition is required during the experiment. Why chilled condition is required? Because the chilled condition slow down the process of degradation. Okay, so these are what the reasons are there why you have to take the chilled ethanol or the chilled alcohol. Okay. Now we'll see about the the what is the taken in your watch glass. So here in the watch glass also we can observe that the fibers which are present, DNA fibers which are present that we'll see. 
yes here you can see the previously we have taken the chill alcohol in the this watch glass same way you can do at home by using the watch glass and in that we have added the this mixture of the banana mesh the alcohol as well as the salt and the liquid soap so here this all what are the fiber like structures we have observed this all